Hi, friends. Today, let me gist you of how I had a case of two cake wrecks in one day. Like, I need someone to check on my blood pressure right now. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. So, to, on this particular day, it's a little back story. On this particular day, I had a I had an order for cake loaf, and the customer usually order cake loaf like almost every uh, like two times in a week, twice a week, and I completely forgot because that they were so swamped with so much to do. And she called, and I was like, no, 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 I don't like disappointing my customers. I wish I knew. Like I should just tell her that oh, uh, maybe the second, the next day I'm going to get the cake across. So I just said, okay, let me do this all in one method of creaming your sponge cake and I went ahead to mix my measure them and pour them in the mixer well it was going on fine it was going on fine you can see the way it's creamy and even the texture looks so nice and I was not expecting anything less you know and I did the measuring myself it's not any one of mine I didn't don't know my staff touched this particular um cake because I I do most of my cake loops, you know, myself. And I was wondering, like, what's going on? Everything was going on fine, you know, you know. You look at, you can, you can check the way the cake looks so creamy. And guys, I've not done this method before, but because I had so much to do, and I really don't want to disappoint this person. And at that point, I was baking. I said, okay, let me quickly mix this thing. Put it in the oval, and, you know, this is what we have. This is what the cake looks like when it came out you know i was so angry so disappointed and i asked myself why did i even do this method at the first place why did i do my normal method of creaming my um sugar and margarine till it's fluffy then i combine the rest my god this was just a waste like a complete total waste i was so mad at myself like because i usually don't do this with customers order like what I don't try new methods for customers order. And I've been seeing this particular method and I said, okay, let me try it today because I was busy. And every other person around me that day had their hands occupied. I said, okay, let me quickly, you know, get this done so that we would deliver the cake by closing our but look at what I ended up. While I was even trying to get myself, you know, trying to breathe, you know. From what just happened, I got a call that this half cake that I delivered had completely crashed. That's the word. <laughs> oh Lord. That day I was just asking myself, what is going on? God. But one thing I've come to, you know, learn in my journey of caking and baking is you don't put yourself under too much tension. You know, so this cake, a little bad story for this cake. Um, it's for a baby shoot and that shoot was for the same day. Guys, this cake was going to the island and I'm based on the mainland. So it's like an hour trip to the venue. But I noticed that I got a call that I didn't get there on time you know, and crashed. I was just like, okay, maybe. Apparently, it didn't turn on the AC and we already agreed that it's going to turn it on. And most of them, I pay extra for AC, yeah, so that they can turn it on. We all know that uh, uh, petrol for is very expensive now, so I used to pay extra for AC because most of them they might not want to, but he ended up not turning the, turning it on. So now this is what I ended up with. This is what I could come up with because the cake had to reduce in size a bit because I had to, you know, trim some parts. But in the only thing I was just thankful for is that the customer was. Not too mad at the whole situation. She was calm all the way. I rectified the cake, sent it back, and everybody was happy. She did the shoot. She tagged me on the pictures on Instagram. <laughs> but now, look at the whole thing. Nobody would have known if I don't come here to share this video of what happened to this particular half cake. You're going to see it on my page and like, wow, nice, and like it or comment on the cake, on the, on the post. But a lot has gone behind the scenes so that is how life is basically that is how life is i remember when i just started this whole business if this kind of situation happens i will just wash my hands off the cake order for that week because i will be so tensed i'll be so you know i'll be so mad within myself like oh i didn't do well i didn't do well and moreover it's not your fault it's not within your reach because you'd already send the cake out and you cannot do your deliveries yourself except you're a big brand that has a delivery van or something 
So some things can happen and it's not your fault entirely as a baker. But the ability to, you know, fix it and not be tensed and still remain calm as a mature baker <laughs> is the most important thing. And now let me not just you that I still woke up the next morning. A cake that covered as this fondant cake. I wanted to uh, stack it. The other tier broke. So it can happen. But I had come to learn that um, patience as a baker. So everything, when it goes wrong, just calm down and fix it. That is what makes you a pro baker. So I want you to know that you are not alone in all of this. So if you've had any sort any kind of experience like this i want you to kindly share and tell us how you dealt with your situation we are in the comment section to learn as bakers to share with us i would like to hear one or two stories of how you dealt with cake wreck so i was so happy that this particular um customer i delivered this spider-man cake to Chatted me the next day. I was say, oh, I like the way your cake is so yummy, nice, nice, nice. I ate it. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, in my head, I was say, hey, only if you knew what I went through with this cake. So another thing is good that you charge well. Imagine all these expenses. You know, I had done a fondant cake. I had to pull and redo the cake. Imagine those are business. Those are losses. If I had undercharged my customers for these cakes that got um that got uh, wrecked on the road, I would be in a big mess, like a very big mess, you know, but because I charge my cakes right, so as a baker, you need to learn how to do that, so you don't end up um, just running business without making any profit, okay? So guys, can you share your experience in the comment section? Let's just, let's interact. I would love to hear them. Alright, see you in my next video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for always coming back to support my video. I really, really appreciate them. I appreciate the love. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, my faves. See you in my next video. Bye.